What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are checking out this amazing Mercedes AMG GTR Pro by Wrong Friends. The guys with the clothing company have invited us to come and drive their AMG GTR Pro with some cool wheels and an FI exhaust. So today I'm going to show you around it. We're going to do a sort of a recap of the GTR Pro because we have driven it but that was November 2019, so it is time to drive it again, I think. Absolutely loved the car back then, so I'm curious to see what it is like after a couple of years. And uh, well, as you can see, we are not at our usual spot, but you might recognize it. We've been here before. That is the Autobahn, so I'm going to take it for a very short drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn Blast. So this is a promotional car by Wrong Friends. As you can see, it has a very, very cool wrap with all these little dolls on there which look kind of crazy but i do really like the wrap i think the black silver and pink it kind of works on this car which is something i didn't think i would ever say but it it kind of works and uh, well of course the gtr pro was the most aggressive most track focused version of the amg gt before the black series came and I might even like this car better than the Black Series. So that is also something that we are going to find out today. So let's do a short recap of the GTR Pro. What makes it special and why is it so cool? Well, we're going to start at the front. We've got the Panamericana grille and the GTR Pro was introduced at the same time as the facelift. So you get these more aggressive front lights and you get this amazingly intricate front bumper with this beautiful bumper part that wraps around and in between the carbon splitter parts as you can see this is all bumper 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 and then this is splitter and this actually transitions into a, a canard here a winglet with another one above that and then you've got the upper part of the carbon splitter right there with these aluminium brackets super cool as Martijn said earlier today, you are a sucker for this kind of stuff. Well, I am, and I'm proud of it. I really like that stuff. And we also have an adjustable splitter even below that. So I'm going to see if we can extract that. So you have a button right there. Spoilers, yeah, extending. Okay, so it should be extended right now. Let's take a look-see. Is that extended? That's, that's not a lot. Okay, so that's, that's really it. It's not that much, but apparently it's enough to, to make a difference. And as you can see, I mean, the arrow is the big thing about this car. It also has some underbody arrow flaps that extend when you need more downforce and the downforce has actually increased by 99 kilos compared to a regular amg gtr which already is a track focused car so this pro is you know even one step further now down the side we've got these yd wheels forged wheels the AMG GTR also gets uh, forged wheels to save weight. So I'm happy that the guys at Wrong Friends went for some forged wheels as well. These are a size up from the GTR Pro. So this is 20 inch front, 21 inch rear. As standard, it comes on 19 and 20s. AMG Carbon Ceramic Brakes behind that, which are amazing. And we've got a big suspension overhaul for this car. So completely new coilovers, which are completely manually adjustable so you do have to remove the wheel for the compression and uh, the ride height and the suspension stuff but you can adjust the dampers manually the the rebound of the dampers with a button i'll show you guys a little bit later on as well but that really is the big difference with this car so it's aero and suspension that make this car seven seconds fast around the Nürburgring compared to a regular gtr it is also 25 kilos lighter so that is why this car is so much faster. We've got some aero on the front fender as well to reduce lift. We've got a beautiful carbon blade, carbon side skirt, mirrors and roof, all carbon. 
and then at the rear we've got another blade running down and into the rear diffuser which is also more intricate for the GTR Pro with some carbon heat shielding and the three exhaust ports so these two are a bit more discreet and that is the center one and then we've got a beautiful diffuser it is so intricate combined with this outlet here and the big wing which gets an addition of this little gurney flap compared to a GTR this GTR Pro oh it looks so mean I absolutely love the look of this rear end it is so racy and just freaking brutal love it okay so let's take a look at the engine the front mid-engine as you can see right behind the front wheels completely the engine and it is the 4 liter V8 by turbo with 585 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. So it's the same as in the GTR, the regular GTR. 0 to 100, 3.6 seconds, and a top speed of 317 kilometers an hour. But as we've seen with the GTC we drove recently, uh, these AMG GTs don't really like to get up to speed very quickly. They, they run really well up to like 2. 50 60 70 and then it starts to really slow down um, so we're going to see what this car feels like i know that the last time i drove this car it was quite busy we were in the stuttgart area oh no we'll deal with that fly later uh, in the stuttgart area and it was super busy so couldn't really do anything these little dials here are for the rebound of the suspension on either side which is very cool, the fact that you can adjust it interior with these beautiful AMG bucket seats, carbon fiber back and lightweight of course. They look a bit like, you know, they're a bit old school, like something you got in a, in a Black Series. Bye. And for the GTR Pro, also available the lightweight package, which means that you get a half cage, you get a fire extinguisher down here, oh it's down here. Uh, you get a four point harness now i know that the gtr pro is 40 kilos lighter than the gtr but then you add in 15 kilos for the cage and the fire extinguisher and stuff like that so i'm not sure if the non-track package gtrs are actually the lightest they should be by this logic now as i said we've got an fi exhaust which is quite loud i'll put it in race that is very very nice of course that engine is linked to the seven speed dual clutch gearbox which is amazing so then we've got the 10 stage traction control button right there. So you can see on the little screen there, we can go from one to 10 basically, from all the way on to all the way off. So let's find out what halfway on is. Manual, do you guys want me to grab that little tunnel there, that little overpass? I mean, we always have to have like some sort of a tunnel. This car is something else. It really, oh, it is so freaking brutal. That power delivery is so urgent. It, 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 the gearbox, it just all works so well together. Now that exhaust. that does add a new layer of sound because the GTR Pro is not that loud. It is, it has a very nice sound, but this, that is quite a difference. That traction control really, oh, 
the bang on the upshift is so much louder now. But that traction control, I've got it in like halfway, and it's still, I can just put my foot down and nothing happens. It's amazing. I mean, yeah, that is a real track traction control. So if I turn it all the way off, first gear. Oh, that is a lot of grip. <laughs> So we don't have that much B-Road driving today, but uh, we did do that last time round and that was the part that most impressed me. Also because we didn't really have the, the space on the Autobahn, but also the thing just feels so planted and it feels so different compared to a regular AMG GT or GTS or whatever. That suspension really changes this car. All right, so let's put it in auto mode and see what we can do today. that with that that v8 it's absolutely relentless i could feel freaking backfire through the car in the exhaust oh it feels so much faster than a gtc it really does but it only has like 30 horsepower over that GTC extra so it shouldn't feel this much quicker but it really does now if you compare this to an AMG GT Black Series which we also drove that car was amazing on like the B roads on on the Autobahn in the corners it was amazing but it it, it lacked a bit of this brutish nature that car even had uh, an exhaust upgrade by lc performance i think it was a mid pipe or something like that but still this cross plane crank uh, compared to the flat plane crank in the black series it just gives the the car this brutish nature and this rumbling v8 feel I actually prefer this to a, a Black Series. I just think that this is such a good balance between on-road and track performance. Thank you. So suspension-wise, it is quite firm, but the way it just absorbs everything and it just stays neutral, it stays where it should stay. Carbon ceramics to lean on, of course, very, very nice. Oh. 
what a car, what a freaking car. One of 750 GTR Pros this. And man, Paul, what a, oh, such an impressive car. And I'm just freaking flooring it on the Altamount. I can actually remember the day that we drove this near Stuttgart. I can just remember the, the feel I had in this car, just the way it just sticks. Oh, it's so impressive. I love it. So we also have like carbon fiber shear panels in the, uh, in the car to give it some more strength and rigidity, but also to save weight. Yummy. That is yummy. We also measured this car from 100 to 200 and uh, we did a 6.58 run. Now last time we drove this car um, it was November and we probably had 102 fuel in there and we've got 98 in it right now and it is quite hot outside 25 degrees so that would explain the difference of about two tenths. But my goodness this might just be the AMG GT to have. That flat plane in the Black Series, it, it is amazing too, and you've got more revs, and it, 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 it's a bit more. Now, my GoPro keeps overheating again, so I just turned on the AC, but we still have our discount code active from last time. GoPro sucks, use it in our store for a discount on the Draggy GPS performance box. I mean, that code, that discount code is going to be running for a long time because these GoPros suck. Suck balls. Anyway, my story about the GT Black Series was that you have that flat plane crank, which makes it a little bit more racy, but you know, the OPF stuff and it, it just makes it feel less brutal than this. If you put an exhaust on here, like the guys at Wrong Friends did, this FI exhaust, which is DCAT by the way, I think, because it is crazy loud. It just emphasizes that brutal character and it is so unique in its proposition that you have this front engine, brutal V8 track car that is just... It is amazing and it is such a different experience if you compare it to like the lightweight high strung competitors like the McLaren 600LT or the Huracan STO Lamborghini or the Porsche GT3 RS. This is so different from those cars and that's why I love it even more. It makes me feel like a freaking Thor racing driver you know it just you handle that brutal power and you've got the the precision of a gt4 gt3 race car prepped suspension and it is an amazing combination i absolutely adore it and i have to say that this exhaust is a very good choice that is amazing. Oh. <laughs> oh, I could do this literally all day. So that's it for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can subscribe by clicking the big button. You can check out this video on the right, this playlist on the left. Big thanks to the guys at Wrong Friends for inviting us to drive their amazing GTR Pro. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye.